basically what I'm doing is I'm testing inbound web hooks and triggers. Um, this is the new premium workflow actions and triggers functionality inside of high level. Um, if you are an empower LO user, you will already have access to this. Uh, if you are not, you might have access to it. It depends on uh, the agency that you're with and the plan that that agency has. Um, if you are the agency, then you have to have the agency pro plan, and then you have to have the premium workflows and actions enabled, uh, premium workflows, triggers, and actions enabled. So uh, again, this is something that I should be testing. Um, and so that's why we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, on the zoom room since we've got nobody in here i'm going to use this time selfishly a little bit you guys will get something out of it i think but uh i've got some shit to test out so here we go um I, we use zoho to manage our agency internally um i know of a couple mortgage branches mortgage companies brokerages uh that leverage zoho too if you're ever in need of somebody to bounce ideas off um when it comes to zoho i love this shit i geek out on it so much um, I would say we're just as much, if not more of experts in Zoho as we are in go high level. Um, but that's besides the point. This is a, this is a group for go high level users. Um, all I'm doing in here is I'm showing you, um, kind of the web hook, the test that I'm setting up. So, uh, I set up a test that is supposed to send first name, last name, email, phone, and contact ID. Uh, when I tag one of my contacts, one of my contacts with hook test. Um, let's go ahead and tag for those of you guys that don't know, if I want to upload this to YouTube, I can't have any of these email addresses and phone numbers showing up. Um, I probably shouldn't anyways, but, uh, worst case scenario is one of you guys tries to steal one of my clients, um, which I'm not too worried about. So, uh, let's go here. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the request request came in first name, last name, phone number, contact ID, that field was empty. And then we have an email address right here. So again, this is my first time doing this. I don't know how we're going to interact with this data yet. So I'm going to save this trigger. And then let's see what is the test? What is it that it wants me to do? Well, the first thing it says is create or update a contact. Um, I don't know if that is like, if that that got added there by default. I don't really know how that got there. Um, just so you guys know, I didn't add this as an action. Um, I don't know that I can delete it as an action. So maybe that's just something that automatically happens. I'm not, I'm not really sure. So, um, but if I wanted to, I could create a contact from this, obviously. So I'm going to go first name and then I go in here, boom, here are the fields that I sent over from Zoho. So this is the function. This is the functionality we're looking for right here. Because if I can do it from Zoho, that means I can do it from LendingTree, right? If LendingTree is sending leads, um, or I can do it from a Zap if I wanted to send custom data into here. Um, uh, let's see, email, All right? So then I can go in here, email, add field, phone, and phone, All right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a pretty cool functionality, like I said. Um, and then, okay, so that is the webhook. And then what if I want to do Google Sheets? So in here, I can create a spreadsheet row, choose an account. These are all of our Google accounts that are linked. I can choose my spreadsheet in here. Um, I don't have any tests set up. Uh, so how do I want to do this? Uh, 308, 409 PM. Now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and set up one, huh? Sheets. Let's go blank. And we go, um, premium workflow test. Let's see how fast that loads. Okay. So my drive select spreadsheet. Is it going to load more? Oh, it's all in alphabetical order. Ah, okay. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for inbound or what was it? Test something. Premium, Premium workflow test. Boom. That's pretty cool. It's searchable. That's pretty nice. So sheet one, I don't have any headers, so I can't, uh, so I can't select any of the, the headers. Um, so I need to go into here and in my, premium workflow tests, I can say first name, last name, email, phone, contact ID. And I can freeze this. 
Boom. There's my header row. Refresh. I love how quickly, I love how quickly this is. Uh, this stuff is showing up. Okay. Sheet name will be used. Starting column. First name. Ending column. Contact ID. First name. So I can go in here. And I can map it directly from the webhook tri trigger. Or I can select the contact. Now that I have a contact, that's why this is a, that's why this action exists automatically, so that you have a contact to reference later on. Um, because most of the workflow actions are going to pertain to a contact, so it um, that would be why. Uh, for those of you that are as curious as I was, um, okay. So we're going in here again. I can map all these details there. Phone. And contact ID, contact ID, save action. Okay. Uh, if it's doing this, we're going to go. Got to set up the contact. This contact already exists. Uh, Okay, so now we have that. Boom. Save. Publish. Okay, and this is the uh, webhook to spreadsheet premium test. Okay. Um, um, let's go and let's run this test. So we're going to go into here um, and we're going to pick another person. Let's go um all right tag add the tag hook test save send it all right let's see what we got here um oh there she goes i didn't have a phone uh for this individual but that's all right or maybe i did um and that's something i need to check out uh da -da 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 -da. mr padilla Nope, I do not have a phone for Mr. Padilla. So that is why that didn't come through. Um, but there you have it. We just uh, sent a wet, we just basically sent information from Zoho uh, to Empower and then also back to uh, a spreadsheet all without using Zapier. Um, so this is this probably is not going to be your exact use case, but that's the thing about technology and integrations is you have to allow your knowledge to build uh, on itself so that you're like you start to gain an imagination when it comes to this kind of stuff. When you, so you start to get creative when it comes to th this kind of stuff, start to use uh, what's referred to as like analogical thinking. If I can use this here, you know, if, if this is what we can do here, then I can do something similar uh, in this space over here. And so you being able to see, ah, okay, well, in Zoho, you don't have to use Zoho to know that all I was doing was sending a webhook to a URL I generated over here. So whatever system you're using, whatever whatever lead source you're using, if you see a spot to be able to send a webhook, now you see, uh, now you see that we can send that, uh, we can configure the URL to match this right here, send a test and start to use that data inside of empower and then again if you're a spreadsheet fan which we've got a lot of spreadsheets fan spreadsheet fans in the mortgage industry uh you can push it over to there as well um you can even uh look up spreadsheet rows based on a custom value so if you have uh like your contact id as a custom value that's going to be unique to the contact if you store it in your spreadsheet now the next time you go to that spreadsheet you can look up the row of that contact id and update the data within the spreadsheet as well um again really really cool stuff if you're seeing if you're seeing this and and seeing functionality that would be a value to you but i'm not going in depth enough or i'm not going slow enough through this and and and, and enough steps uh to make it make sense then please please call that out say something um not just in the live shoot me a message whatever you know no shame uh i don't really care to to put you on blast if you don't want to be put on blast or uh put you on on stage if you want to be put on stage but if you have any questions around this or see a use case for this in your business it's super super valuable for you to reach out to me and say hey i loved what you were talking about 
uh, as far as updating spreadsheets from high level. These are the spreadsheets that we use in our business and how we would like to update them. Can you help with that? Um, give me a real world example. And as long as you're cool with me uh, anonymously using your situation as um uh, as content essentially as like a demonstration um then i then there shouldn't be any reason why i can't help with that um and and as long as it's not too complicated um then it'll likely be free for you so um please keep that in mind as you're watching these videos as i'm going through stuff if you see even a tidbit of something that seems like something that you would benefit from but you feel like you're miles apart from implementation when you watch this um reach out help me help you get to that point technically um it, it helps in my overall cause my overall mission of um bringing this level of marketing technology to the mortgage industry anyways i'm going to hop off that is a little bit of premium workflows uh triggers and actions i've been talking a lot about it in the ghl weekly updates over the last couple uh three four weeks um that is what we just demonstrated basically is this is what i've been talking about like being able to send a webhook a custom webhook uh and trigger a workflow off of that and then being able to then use that um, to perform some of their other actions that they've added so far like creating slack channels and conversations or uh spreadsheet functions with google sheets so um anyways thank you guys uh that are watching this recorded remember be on the next one so that you can get even more value out of this uh thanks for watching we'll see you at the top.